Okay, so the third problem from this set gives us that the claim is that the mean is equal to 1.287 and the test stat is 2.89. Okay, so again, first thing you want to do is look at that claim and ask yourself, what does that tell us about the type of test that we're dealing with? Well, this claim is actually HO, right? So we don't need HO to figure out what type of test we're dealing with. We need HA. So if this is HO, then HA must be the opposite of that or not equal to. And the rule says that if it's not equal to for HA, it's going to be a two-tailed test. Two-tailed test. Okay, if we know it's a two-tailed test, the next step is to label our test stat on a bell curve and then to use our table to find the p-value. All right, now, remember z is centered at zero. We're gonna put that test stat on the curve where it belongs. So it'd be to the right, right? 2.89 is to the right of zero. And then, because it's a two-tailed test, the rule is this. We find the tail area beyond the test stat. The tail, in this case, is on the right-hand side, right? So we're looking for this tail area and then we double it because it's a two-tailed test. In other words, we're saying we're looking for the probability that we're this far from zero or equally far on the other side because it's a two-tailed test, right? Looking for the probability that another test stat would be as far from zero as this test stat is. But you can be this far away from zero on the right-hand side and also that far away on the left-hand side. That's why we double the area we get here. So either way, you find the tail area and you double it when it's a two-tailed test. So let's go to the z-table now, look up 2.81, get our area for this white space, and then we'll find the tail area, and then we have to remember to double it. Okay, so we're going to the z-table now to look up 2.89. Okay, so we're looking up 2.89 on the z-table. Okay, and we find out the area there, 2.89, is associated with 0 0.4981, 0 0.4981. Remember, the last position here is the 9 position, so it's 2.89 at the very end, and we find 0 0.4981 is the number. Okay, so we found our area to be 0 0.4981. That's the area from here to here on our curve. That's not the area we want, however. We need to get this area, so we're going to do 0.5 minus 0 0.4981. All right, when you do the subtraction, a little old school borrowing again, right? We get 9100. So we end up with the answer for the tail area to be 0 0.0019. However, that's not our p-value because it's a two-tail test. We have to double it. So we're going to do 0 0.0019 plus 0 0.0019, or you can just multiply by 2. Either way, you get the answer 0 0.0038. So our p-value is equal to 0 0.0038, so about 4 tenths of 1%.